What's up, class? Evans here. Today's part is the cow catcher. It's the part that sits in the front of the train, and it does pretty much what it sounds like it does. Um, it is there to push anything that's on the track off the track to prevent it from derailing the entire train, such as something large like a ranch animal, like a cow. Seeing that trains go through cities and a lot of just open land, so a derailed train in the middle of nowhere is pretty dangerous. So put these on the front of them uh, to kind of push stuff out of the way. So um, if you look at this, this has a couple of new features. It's not an extrusion. It goes up at an angle. Give like a, um, a lampshade. A lampshade, usually it's wider at the bottom and uh, smaller at the top. It kind of has that shape. It's also hollow in here. And it's got some interesting insets on the side. And then we've got these pegs on the back. Now, many of these things you can probably figure out how to do, but let me show you how you can quickly add some of these parts with just two new tools. One is called loft. The loft takes one shape and it extrudes it at an angle to another shape. That's pretty fast. And if I want to make it hollow, I use a tool called shell. And you can see real well how how hollow it makes it there. I just have to click the bottom to make that. And the insets are also very easy. I just click on the sketch on that face. And now if you don't do the loft correctly, the sketches for the loft, this won't work. And you'll have to correct it um, because it will make the face curve. Because sketches can only work on flat surfaces. And I can use that offset tool. Be better if I were zoomed in a little. So all those offsets are going to be pretty easy to work with. Here we go. So let me show you from the beginning what we're going to do. Start off with your part number nine. I'll catch her. Sorry, I know I'm doing things out of order. It is what it is. So I'm going to create a sketch on the top view. Now, a couple of things that are very important. This sketch needs to be centered, and it needs to be on this line. So I'm going to put it right on this kind of like front view here. And I'm making the bottom section of this. I want these to see how it's lining up like that. I want that. Unfortunately, it didn't do a 90 degree angle, so I'm going to use perpendicular, and I want to make sure that this is perpendicular. There we go. Now, now let's start putting in the dimensions. The entire base of the thing is, oops, the entire base of the thing is 1.8, and it's very important that this is centered, so half of 1.8 from this line in the middle to this line is 0.9. These edges are a quarter of an inch. You should see both of them move. If you only see one move, make sure that the other one is a quarter of an inch. And then this goes out one inch. Okay, so that's my first sketch. My second sketch is going to have to be an offset from that surface. So I'm going to click on this plane button here. Click here. See how it goes up, just like we did with the uh, train um, to put the smokestack uh, drilled in hole at the top. So this goes up 0.75. And I'm going to create my sketch on that plane. Look at it from the top. Now, these things have to line up. So they their backs have to be straight up. It goes out a quarter of an inch still. I'm going to type a quarter of an inch, 0.25. Uh, it should come right to the middle. And I want to make sure that that's perpendicular at the end because it looks like it got, yeah, it was a little crooked. That'd be 25 on each side. 
if you look at it, the um, if you look at that view, it says it's 12, basically, 1.2. So I'm going to click from here to here, 1.2. It has to be centered, so I need this line to this line to be half of that. Half of 12 is 6, right? 0. 0.6. And then it extends out 0. 0.75. So I'm getting them all from that uh, sketch that I gave you. It's in the corner of, of this video so that you can see where I'm getting all these numbers from. Now that I have that, uh, and let me turn it to look at it. I will now uh, do a loft, and let me kind of zoom in a little here. I'm going to click loft, and I'm going to click on the bottom, and then the top. And it's going to connect them together, and then I'm going to hit the check mark. Now I'm going to do my, um, oh no, I can't do the offset yet. I need to make it hollow. So I'm going to click the shell tool right here, shell. And this makes it hollow, but usually if things are hollow, they also have like an open face. So the bottom of it is open face. I'm going to click on the bottom of it. So now we see that's removed and we can see the hollowness on the inside. Uh, it tells us that it's 0.1 for thickness. And now I can do the uh, offset, sorry. I have a touchpad, I should be using a mouse. So I'm going to create a sketch right here, and I'm going to use the offset tool. And press enter so that it allows me to type 0.1. And now I will extrude that as a cut, so it's got to be removed, and I don't want it, of course, to go all the way through it. If you look, it has a thickness of 0 0.05. Do the same thing on the other side. Again, if this isn't working for you, that means your surface is not flat. and You have a dimension wrong with one or two of your loft sketches, press enter. And if that's the case and you can't find it, call me over so that I can help you with that. All right, so we are completely done. On the back, you need to create a sketch so that you can put those pegs. Now these pegs line up to the front of the um, train. So when you do these pegs, make sure that you put them in correctly and line them up correctly. There's several dimensions. So I'll leave you to do that on your own. Don't forget to change the, um, to add the chamfer and to um, change the material to red brass and color it red. If you have any questions, let me know. If you're stuck, call me over, ask a friend. If you're done, call me over so I can check it off on my notebook.